Hello guys, Chris P here. Welcome back to another video. In this one, my friends, I'm going to be testing the GT730 in PUBG Season 5 because many of you were actually interested in that. This GPU is the DDR3 version, 2GB of the GT730, and I overclocked it just a little bit here, plus 70 megahertz on the core, plus 110 megahertz on the memory. We are running it with the Ryzen 7 3700X and 16 gigs of RAM, of course, overkill for the GT730, but you guys will get pretty much the same results with like a third gen i3 and 8 gigs of ram so yeah that just keep that in mind it's very hard to bottleneck these gt700 series cards and i am gonna be testing it of course using the very low settings preset everything is disabled over here everything is set to the lowest over here and i'm gonna be testing it at 1080p 900p and 720p and then with some resolution scale settings at 720p right so in the plane of course things are looking not very good because we're still below 30 fps but yeah it's it's still an okay experience i will say it's not like a slideshow or anything but once we get down there it's probably gonna be like a slideshow to be honest we were getting like 11 fps with the gt710 so i expect this one to do like 14 15 maybe let's drop in our favorite little city oh boy this is very bad guys this is a very bad result for the gt730 but we're still not in the ground so we're just gonna do that and wait just a few seconds for everything to load in okay guys so that's it i think uh let's do our run here at 1080p with the very low set this is not looking good. This is not looking good at all, guys. Let me just pick this up here. You know what? At least the game is not stuttering, okay? There's a smooth frame rate and frame time graph over there. The game isn't stuttering, but it, of course it's unplayable, right? So I don't really need to do all of the benchmark run here at 1080p, do I, guys? You guys know that it looks absolutely awful. It runs absolutely awful. It looks, it, it looks okay, kind of, you know? Textures don't seem to be on very low, but they are on very low. Okay, so it's just that I've been playing Rust a little bit for the past few days. Uh, Rust on low settings, on the lowest settings possible, is absolutely awful when it comes to texture quality. So <laughs> that's why these seemed like low or medium textures uh, to me, but no, they, they are very low textures. That's pretty much it. I, I'm not gonna play anymore with these FPS here. So 1080p, not really playable, 17 FPS on average. Let's go ahead and drop it to 900p right now. Okay, so we're at 900p now. Let's go hit that button, see our averages and stuff. Yeah, it's still not playable, so we're not gonna spend too much time here at 900p as well. Maybe I will need to mess up with config files and stuff like that, so... Mm. Yeah, very interesting this game. Oh my gosh, the, the, the capture card is going ham here. What the heck is going on? Okay, it was actually recording, but it was doing some very weird stuff, like in my GT710 Rainbow Six Siege video, it was really, really bad, you know? I had to record everything in that video again, like, uh, once I got to 144p resolution, it didn't record anything whatsoever, uh, at least not well, you know? At least the footage so far has been okay, it was just a little fart that it did. <laughs> It's not playable, as you can probably tell. If you have the DDR3 version of the GT730, you're probably used to uh, hearing people or watching benchmark videos and seeing that it isn't really playable uh, in new games, at least. Yeah, unfortunately, PUBG is just one of those. Fortnite, for example, actually ran fine on the 730 at 720p, if I am not mistaken. It, it didn't really get 60 FPS, but it was playable nonetheless, so... I was a good thing this however is just a bad this is just a mess so I'm just gonna go ahead go prone here stop that 21 FPS average okay 720p now with the very low settings PUBG season 5 is it playable no <laughs> It's still not reaching 30 plus FPS here, every time at least, so it's still dropping into the high 20s, maybe even the mid 20s here sometimes. 
Oh boy, 22 FPS there. These GT series cars are just an absolute joke, I would say. guys. These are not supposed to be for gaming, you know, so they're not gaming GPUs at all. So if you are buying a new GPU and are considering a GT730 uh, and are watching this video right now because of that, guys, please, just don't do it, okay? It's my... My recommendation would be at least a GTX 1050 in 2019 or 2020, okay? So anything less than a GTX 1050, you're gonna be having a really bad time playing uh, new games. Or even games from like two years ago or newer. So just don't look at GT series cards for gaming. Uh, GTX 660 is like a ton of a heck better than this. A heck of a ton? What? No. With. A GTX 660 is a heck of a lot better than this and uh, it costs like 20 bucks in the used market I think at least so I got my GTX 660 uh, like a year ago or almost a year ago I think and I got it for 35 bucks here in Portugal. Portugal's used market is pretty bad so it was a decent deal for a 660. Uh, of course I've gotten better deals for example the R9280 for 40 euros but you know the 660 is readily available in a lot of countries so if you want a GPU that's capable of running PUBG at least and a few other games from like 2018 and, and older of course it's not gonna be running well games from 2020 just keep that in mind you know just lower your expectations a bit if you're thinking that the 660 is gonna do an amazing job playing like the Division 2 or Metro Exodus stuff like that it won't okay it just won't of course I haven't tested those yet on that GPU but I will but that said guys the 660 is still like three times better than the GT 730 even like four or five times better I'm not really sure you know but the 660 at 720p PUBG low settings or very low settings was getting like 100 FPS just so you know okay so that's like four times uh, more than the GT 710 or 730 actually the 710 was even slower than this one oh boy okay so yeah that's it <laughs> that's what I wanted anyways okay 27 FPS on average I get it if you're used to like 20 something FPS it might be playable for you and you might be saying oh 20 something 27 fps on average is absolutely playable what are you talking about but it just isn't okay if we drop the resolution scale to 70 percent it's not going to be a good experience still so uh we we're gonna get like 35 fps i think so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead exit the game and show you like the config files and what you have to do to lower your resolution even further than that because the game itself doesn't really allow you to lower your frame your resolution down from 720p 70 percent right guys what you want to do right now is go ahead and click your windows key and write run open this program over here write app data with the percentages at the beginning and at the end and you will open this folder over here so now you want to click app data over here go to local search for tsl game saved config uh, windows no editor and now you get access to these settings here so you want to open the game user settings dot ini with a notepad or whatever you want and you'll see the resolution scale here so what you want to do from now on is just lower this to like 50% and this as well to like 50% and now save that, right click on it, select read only over here so the game isn't allowed to change your settings itself, you know, because it will do that if you don't do this and get into a game again. Okay guys, we're now back at 720p, 50% resolution scale. It doesn't show 50% because the game doesn't really support it, but it's at 50%, uh, very low settings. As you can see, it's, it looks really bad. It looks way worse than 70% resolution scale at 720p. So that's how we know that it's at 50%. Actually, just, just believe me, okay? <laughs> Pretty decent FPS so far, but let's start our run here. Okay, starting our run, 39 FPS here, that's not bad, I'm just gonna pick up this UMP because we do need like stuff and an ACOG scope is very very handy at these resolutions because of course you can't really spot people at the distance, uh, yeah. 
I really wouldn't drop the resolution uh, further than this. This already looks quite bad. If you watch my GT710 video, we actually tried 25% and 1% and resolution. That was pretty funny. Uh, the video actually got a ton of views. So yeah, I did something right in that one. <laughs> People seem to enjoy the 710 videos, basically. Anyways, we're getting decent FPS here with the 730, not like the 710 in which we didn't really even reach a 30 plus FPS average at 25%. I don't think that we even got 30 plus FPS all of the time at 1% resolution scale. And that's just because uh, the GPU itself is a massive limitation, you know. Uh, the memory is probably one of the uh, things that affects it the most, being DDR3, of course. Because if we drop the resolution further down to like 1%, even like 1%, so that's like 7p, we're now at uh 50 percent of 720p we're now at 360p and if you drop it to 7p should we do this guys oh boy oh my gosh i just suck <laughs> oh boy oh boy come on guys come on give me that ump kill can you do it can you do it buddy oh come on get over here buddy okay <laughs> this is so bad oh boy it's not that bad, you know? I am that bad. Oh, Jesus Christ, of course. So the game is playable FPS-wise. You shouldn't have a problem playing like this. But as I was saying, if you lower it to like 7p from this, you're actually gonna get like 10 more FPS. So it's like you shouldn't really drop it uh, further than 50 percent resolution scale so that's been it thank you so much for watching this video we got a decent average fps and okay one percent lows of 28 but there's one thing that we're missing in this one and that is you can actually get pubg Lite absolutely for free because the game is free you can get that, install it, and get a very playable experience. I already tested the 730 in PUBG Lite, and it's very playable, even at like 720p, 100% resolution scale. So just go play PUBG Lite if you have a GT700 series card. Anyways, that's my recommendation. Thank you so much for watching once again. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next one, hopefully. And as always, I love you all. Bye-bye.